before you say it, no, I do not have the coronavirus. <clears throat> But on a more serious note, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, GamerPrayX here, and guys, welcome back to Among the Kingdoms, this is episode 17, and guys, it's been a while, I understand, I, I'm not ashamed of myself, uh, sometimes you just gotta take a break, but we are back, and we are going to be working on Everwood Bridge, well, not Everwood Bridge, we did that in the last episode, we're going to be working on the wall for this part of the town. I'm going to do a lot of the other stuff off camera. I just want to do some of it on camera to guys kind of give you guys a little bit of a, a glimpse into what we're doing. But while we're working on building this wall, I'm going to talk about the coronavirus. Um, just because it's a nationwide situation and I feel like the more people that put in their input in on the situation, the better. Uh, in the sense of what you need to do in order to prevent yourself from catching it. So while we're working on that, we're going to uh, also be talking about the coronavirus. So I'm not prepared for this episode. Who'd have thunked it? I'm going to get some materials prepared, and then I'm going to go into building this half of the wall. And then I'm going to talk about future plans as well for Everwood Valley consisting of some future projects and what I think will be the ideal time to call quits on Everwood Valley to go out and do other projects. Because this is among the kingdoms, so this is not the only kingdom. And I think we need to uh, eventually close the gates to Everwood Valley and go and make another kingdom. I don't want to do that anytime soon, though, because I, I want to finish Everwood Valley. Now, my thoughts on that are like 99% done, and then we'll go for it. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to get some resources, and then we'll go a little bit more in depth than that, and then we're going to talk about the coronavirus. Alrighty, guys, I have some of the resources that we need. Um, we're going to start things off. We're going to go up five blocks on all these pillars. Because the wall is going to be a total of six blocks tall from every point until we get over to here. Because we have to make it go uphill a little bit. But um, I want to talk about the coronavirus a little bit. And my thoughts on the coronavirus are to not worry. It's actually less harmless than the flu in most situations. And the best way to prevent ourselves from getting sick is just to wash our hands and if we're feeling sick, isolate yourself from society until you're feeling good. Don't go out into society knowing that you're sick and then risk getting other people sick because you didn't have the, uh, the care to stay away from people. If, if you're not feeling good, like if you feel like you have the flu or something, stay home. Because if you stay home, we have a less a less higher chance of people actually catching this disease and that's very beneficial so just try to stay home and don't worry as much about this virus wash your hands don't just go to your don't go to the bathroom and walk out of the bathroom or turn the water on and just run your hands under the water actually take the five the minute or so to wash your hands properly because if you wash your hands you're not going to catch the sickness and I'll, i've seen uh, so many people at school just walk out of the bathroom without washing their hands and i'm like those kinds of people are the reason that these sicknesses even start because you guys don't wash your hands now it's not i'm not targeting like the one watching this video right now, whoever is watching this and it's on your screen, and I'm not saying that it's your fault. No, it's the it's just people who don't have the care in the world to wash their hands and keep themselves clean. 
you don't go to the bathroom and just not wash your hands. It's disgusting. But um, that's my little bit of input on this. And I really don't want to talk about it much because it's really putting a damper on my senior year. I'm a senior in high school. And literally everything's canceled. My, my, I'm in band, so my, my spring concert is canceled. Prom's canceled. Uh, the banquet for sports and for the arts programs, those are all, they're all closed and not happening. Restaurants are closing. Church is closing. My senior year is uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's, a, it's been a bad year. But this part of the year has been a bad year, or a bad part of the year, and I don't know. I just, I don't know how to feel about it, but all I can say is just stay positive and know that things are going to get better, and if you think things aren't going to get better, I, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Just try to stay positive, but um, with, with that situation and topic out of the way i would like to talk about what we are going to be doing with everwood valley um we're working on this wall and now now that i'm thinking about it i i think i want to do a time lapse segment so let me go ahead and go into time lapse mode real quick and then we'll, we'll we will talk about what we're going to do um as we're building this in a fast segment because i want to build this on camera so i will see you guys momentarily alrighty guys so we're in time-lapse mode and I've never done this before so we're going to go ahead and we're going to figure this out so while we're building this I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what we're going to be doing in the future so as we can see right about now um, we're, I'm, I'm doing a cinematic shot of what we're going to be doing in the future so what we're looking at right here is going to be our future dam and our boat yard. This is a big project. I want to do that. So we're going to have a shipping yard that is for all of our imports. And right about right here, we're going to be using this area. And it's, it's literally going to be a cistern that holds the water in the dam. Now we're panning over to this area right over here. This is where... Everwood Valley's castle is going to be. This is where the king is going to be living, and this is where all of the rules and the laws happen. Right here is the nether hub entrance, and we're going to be making a pathway with some man-made trees that look realistic-ish that go to it, and it, just to make it look more presentable, because it doesn't look that presentable, and... I really want to make it look as nice as possible. And right here, we are going to see the full size of Everwood Valley. Now, it's going to skip right about here because I had to uh, edit the render distance. But this right here is the full size of Everwood Valley. And it's going to be huge. But I'm going to probably end this right here because I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Uh, so. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the music, and I'll see you guys after the time lapse. Alrighty guys, now that that little time lapse segment is over, uh, we need to add some detail because this looks very strained. Like if you look at it, it strains your eyes because you look at it like this, you see just one solid color and then you see the gray. We're going to fix that though. Um, 
the design that we're going for, I have to wing. I had it designed in a test world, but my computer's web browser, the Microsoft Edge on my Windows 10, got a virus or something, and it kept popping up these ads and stuff. I don't know what I did, and I had to factory reset the computer. So, I'm winging the design of what we're doing in a way, because I don't have that world anymore. So, I'm going to do something like this, I think, and then we're going to transfer it onto all of these uh, little stone things, where you see the stone on all these walls. And then I have a design for these diagonals. We're going to put some birch wood fences, like so. If I can, is that, wait, is that in there? Nope. Okay, get in there. There we go. We're going to do that to the corners, like so. And then right here, we're going to have some stairs kind of going like this. And then we're going to do the same thing to the top so that it looks symmetrical. So we're going to do the same thing but upside down stairs. Oops. Let's fix that. This is very tricky. Uh, not being able to fly or anything. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alrighty, 2,000 years later. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our axe and we're going to strip these logs like this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take these logs right here out. We're going to replace those two corners with these. And then we're going to do like something like that. And then maybe throw a, a chiseled one in there or something. We're going to do the same thing right here. So let's go ahead and break those and place the, the chiseled blocks like so. And then we would have these. And then maybe I'll throw some cracked ones in there in the mix to kind of give it the uh the the look like this where it looks like it's a wall that's been here for a while so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to transfer this to all of these and then i'm going to transfer this to the diagonals because i don't want to spend a long time going over this because it's pretty simple stuff and when i get back from that i'm going to go ahead and um start mapping out some stuff I also want to uh, put some flower pots in the uh, the area, so we're going to do something like this, maybe throw a bush on there, like so, and then slap some trap doors because they make everything better, and then we can throw a trap door there, maybe, and then right here, we're going to have redstone lamps in these holes, and we're going to have daylight sensors and repeaters to power those lamps, and we're going to have... Um, some cool doors and stuff that close at night to prevent pillagers from kind of just walking the bridge and getting in here. Um, it, it, it's going to, it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to transfer the designs to the diagonals on the inside, and then we're going to do it to the outside as well, uh, because we have to do it to both sides. Alrighty guys. So I haven't fully finished the outside yet i haven't even started the outside actually but i have done the interior as you guys have seen already uh, this is looking freaking awesome i i'm actually chuffed to bits i'm stealing lines from mumbo jumbo but it's true i'm chuffed to bits with this it it's it's starting to look really cool and i can just vision in my head this wrapping all the way around everwood valley and if I remember to go into the creative world and record some segments to show on screen right about here of how big Everwood Valley really is going to be, imagine this entire wall wrapping all the way around Everwood Valley. What I envision in my mind when thinking about this wall wrapping around Everwood Valley, I'm imagining a military compound over here with our armory and stuff. Uh, right by the entrance to defend the gateways uh, from all the pillagers that try to get into Everwood Valley to try to raid it and end civilization as we speak. And I think something really cool that we could do in the future is write like a, a storyline for all of the kingdoms and, and make them all wrap together. I feel like we could start off the trilogy with Everwood Valley being the kingdom that rules all kingdoms. And then 
as we progress, we can write onto the story and then make everything kind of fit together in a way that just tells the story of this series. I feel like that's going to be really cool to do. And, oh, man, I'm just super excited. And as you, if you guys saw in the segment that showed up on screen somewhere, wherever, in the magic lands of editing, uh, Everwood Valley is going to be massive. It, it's going to be the largest kingdom, I believe. And the reason for that is because I have plans for something over here that we talked about in the time-lapse segment when we built the wall. And we're going to have a castle over here in this area. And there, you guys already know this because editing, I'm going to edit that stuff in and I have to do a voiceover. But it's going to be awesome. This whole place is going to be amazing. And I'm super stoked to do this. And once we're able to finally say Everwood Valley's done, we're going to walk over that bridge and we're going to start building a other kingdoms i i'm super excited we're gonna have a sky kingdom an ocean kingdom maybe a winter kingdom i don't know we're, we're just gonna go for it and i i have a lot of creativity in my head that i'm gonna have a hard time putting into this world but when it gets put into this world it's gonna look awesome and i'm super stoked to do it um there's not much more that i can do in today's episode because i wanted to just do make this video get back into things because it's been a couple couple months and i wanted to finish that wall because that's been an anticipation of mine since i stopped um since the last episode so i'm going to end this episode here on a good note if you like this video hit the like button down below it'd be greatly appreciated and if you're new to the channel think about hitting the subscribe button and the notifications bell icon down below so that you can get notified for whenever i upload daily videos to the channel and um in the next episode we're going to start working on one of the things over in this general area behind me i don't know what it is yet but it's going to be awesome now guys don't forget to wash your hands after you're done using the bathroom to stop the coronavirus and um i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye bye. Would you smile like our first kiss? Would you remember when you fell in love with me?